I've been to the Intel Extreme Masters in Katowice four years in a row. Katowice, in fact, was the last tournament that I've attended with NIP. My very last frag movie I've created. The event means a lot to me. It's special to me. This year, I was invited to join friends, players, and tens of thousands of people with the same passion for CSGO as me by Intel and Acer. I was supposed to do a video about the event with Acer. I was that much looking forward to the event that I was even on my way to the airport, unsure if I should even take the flight, which unfortunately was never the case, as I also in the end received word that I should stay at home as I couldn't be guaranteed to enter Spodek or anything at all really. It sucked, but the core of I am Katowice, the great Counter-Strike that always was being played there, it delivered on all fronts. Acer was quick to react. They sent me a laptop, specifically the Acer Nitro 5, they told me to go and enjoy the event from home and do a video about Katowice from home. A machine powered by an Intel Core i7-9750H, 16 gigabyte of RAM, a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, 120Hz screen, a laptop to use for gaming when you're on the go, something that powers really anything I'd need it to power, and it really isn't pricey for its performance. If you want to know more about the laptop, I left a link in the description so you can have a look. Well, and here it is. I spent my days like many of you watching the Intel Extreme Masters Katowice 2020, and this is what I learned. Kicking this video off with some simple plays by Simple. Simple, but effective. It's a 1v1 situation versus Colzera, whose last info he gave away was that he is on a long. A quick and confident rotation towards the B-bomb site, Bomb planted. However, Simple doesn't know where Colzera is coming from, therefore he plays his usual bait style. He gives away the information to Colzera by jumping around the door, spots him, jumps one more time to the tunnel area, which is the left side from Colzera's point of view, and then he creeps back towards the box, essentially not visible to the player running or walking up to the B site due to the steep angle the ramp the CT player has to go up to, to the B bomb site. A little bit of timing involved, but I'm sure that this play works more often than not in favor of the terrorists defending the bomb site. A smart, detailed play. Another small detail from Simple. He peeks B apps very quickly with the help of Perfecto and a good spawn. Gets Molotov off the position without a peek by the enemy. The call is made to do a quick boost on the bench. Yes, this boost is common knowledge, but together with a teammate who's prepared to do it and the guy on top going from the left side of the bench, I haven't seen the boost being executed that quick yet. First player jumps on the bench, goes to the edge of the top corner. Second player goes from the left up to the bench, can walk towards the teammate, resulting in only three quick jumps to make the boost happen. A one-way smoke from Fnatic's Brolin. Train, lower ramp. There's multiple different lineups and smokes for lower ramp. However, I didn't know this one before. Position yourself as shown, aiming towards this little floor crack. Jump up while still looking on the ground to achieve the perfect positioning. Move full back towards the ceiling. Aim up and aim like shown. Simple left click throw and the smoke will flubber towards its destination. In this specific clip of Fnatic vs G2, the smoke gets extinguished before landing on the 100% perfect spot. But even with that happening, the smoke is still a very good one way that's usable. Keep in mind that a smoke like this is pretty obvious for a CT and you might get spammed for it. So be careful when using it and be ready to use it on good timing. Next up, Brawlin vs 100 Thieves. He utilizes his top spawn as a CT to jump out of window. Throw a smoke as shown. It doesn't have to be 100% accurate, just line it up like this while running. Runs up close to the smoke, jumps with the crouch jump into it, and voila. A one-way smoke that at least I wouldn't have expected. The angle you can hold from that position is so wide open that even if the terrorists know about it, you will very likely get caught off guard. Missing your shots also doesn't mean you're a free kill, as you can fall back for the smoke, as well as you being fairly safe from an underground player due to timing. You don't get challenged at all. Well, that's mid control free for you. You can either take the risk and push further, or do it like Brolin and sit behind the top mid box to watch underground, which also results in your teammates being able to play the bomb sites with two people. Definitely a great individual play for your pugs as well. Now let's show off some pop flashes that will do your matches good. First off, a pop flash from B tunnels for a B bomb site hit. Tuck yourself fully back in the tunnel's corner like Kenyas does, aim as shown, and a simple left click throw. It will bounce once, hard to avoid, however, it won't blind the car player. Keep that in mind. 
you need to take some control over Inferno Middle via a short. Your player and pit can hug a little wooden barrel with the wall corner, aim like shown, and release his bang with a left click. A perfect pop flash if you look to get some control back or go for a pick. A more common flashbang for B by Navi's Perfecto. If you want to know how to play B Mirage, go watch a Perfecto demo. He's a great B player and you can be pretty sure in 99% of your games. Nobody wants to play B anyway, so if you want a comfortable spot for yourself and don't have to argue 24-7, just saying. Get yourself in the corner of the trash can, here's how he lines it up and release with a left click throw. It's not only a great flash for a B player, but if the B rush is called really early, maybe the enemies are throwing McDonald's smokes to block off short, a player coming from market can throw it to be an insanely lethal piece of utility. Back to Inferno, with Flusher demonstrating a very fast A side pop flash from A short. Once control was gained, he pressed forward, jumps while pressing backwards with a left click throw. You don't have to have a fixed point for this one, however, you should orientate yourself towards this window. If thrown correctly, just look how beautiful it pops. I'm pretty sure people saw this one already, but it needed to be included. EG is in a retake situation from Secret Stairs. Stanislaw positions himself, aims like shown. You are able to be a little bit off with the placement as the flash just needs to bounce above the metal. It's not a super effective flash, as it is very obvious to spot in here. However, it gives you a short time window to not run completely free into an enemy. And in the end, a flashbang needed for everyone, pros or pugs. A lineup from bottom banana to perfectly flash above and behind the wall top banana to regain the banana control late. You are exposed, so make sure you at least know nobody's top car able to peek you. Your teammates running up need to turn around themselves to not get flushed. Remember to call that out. In this specific clip, however, Chris J did something pretty damn smart, which made this clip special. A top spawn for Chris J. He's able to get to the tree position in Banana for free, with it to encounter any early aggressive peaks by the CT side. He utilizes it, doesn't encounter an enemy, throws away his AK as he's about to bait the enemy knowing very well that they're on an eco round. He gives away his location on purpose, runs up Banana and slowly sneaks back. A perfect bait using sounds to his advantage. Which led me to this short part of the video, a friendly reminder that you can give away sound cues and your location to trick and bait the enemy. I'm sure you know about it, but how many of you do it? Boomich from Navi did it with the nuke door to bait people into thinking he ran towards the site and still picked the enemy, netting him a surprise kill more often than not. I'm actually surprised myself that people just didn't note that down, he did it that often. The more common play nowadays to shoot the top windows of the hall while your teammates shoot the lower windows if you got down secret, not being spotted. And here's two cool plays that work also very nicely. As soon as the door gets blown open, you maybe want to go into vents on the ladder like Cirque and block the enemy, resulting in free kills as the enemy walks blind through a smoke. And I haven't seen this particular angle Crims used on train to spot Pop Dog. A nice little detail to gain some information to react quickly on. Do you like this type of content? What could I do differently? Please let me know. This was the very first video like this for me, and I'm very curious on how to improve this in case you would like to see more like this. I also have a lot more <laughs> clips with nades from I'm Katowice that I didn't use in this video, because let's be real, who would watch a 30 minute video on smokes and nades all in one go? Or would you? Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe with the bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you.